हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे वील बी स्टडिंग द थीम ऑफ द पोम आर जेनिफर्स टाइगर्स द लिटरेरी फिगर्स दैट हैव बीन यूज्ड एंड आल्सो द राइमिंग स्कीम आई एम गोइंग टू कीप दिस वीडियो वेरी शॉर्ट एंड क्रिस्प दिस इज अ फीडबैक आई हैव बीन गेटिंग फ्रॉम माय स्टूडेंट्स एंड आई होप यू ऑल बेनिफिट फ्रॉम इट so aunt jennifer's tigers theme figures of speech and also the rhyming scheme so the theme of the poem is related to feminism it's a feminist poem and it revolves around the theme of male chauvinism and gender conflicts especially in the institution of marriage it highlights the theme of victimization of the women by their male counterparts in the institution of marriage aunt jennifer is victimized and suffers the oppression of her male counterpart and the fact that even after she dies the subjugation of women will continue in in irrespective of how many women uh, give up their lives or su uh, succumb to such torture in marriage so it talks a lot about um tigers and these tigers they are a representative of the wish of aunt jennifer these tigers prance wild they're ferocious they're fearless and aunt jennifer's husband is similar like that and that's what she wants to be so the first stanza as i had earlier also intimated in the previous video the tigers represent her desire to be as free and fearless and ferocious as not only the tigers but also her husband and there is also a symbolic uh, implication of male chauvinism and the patriarchal society now aunt jennifer struggles for this freedom and she wants to be as free as the tigers so now let's look at the uh literary figures that have been used the images and the symbols that have been used so first we'll i'll take you to the to the slide and we'll definitely be able to understand better when we have something written in front of us so we are talking about the theme the figure of speech and the rhyming scheme we spoken about the theme and now i'm quickly going to there's no need to recite the poem you may take your while pause it and you may recite it it has been recited in the earlier video let's go on to the symbols used in the poem now the tiger has been used as a symbol of terror of oppression that has that is symbolic of this the dominance that is subjugating all women in the institution of marriage it also symbolizes the free spirit of our jennifer that's what she dreams of the fluttering wool is representative of excessive oppression in women aunt jennifer is so victimized and oppressed that her frail fingers are not able to carry the weight of something as light as wool her struggling with the ivory needle can be understood in two ways either she is very old or she is also weighed under uncle's domination so she has lost her individuality she is terrorized to even embroider something as simple as free ferocious tigers on a piece of cloth uncle's wedding band symbolizes the suppression of women in matrimony it also symbolizes what we call male authority and even dominance it expresses the struggle of the uh, spirit as well when it comes to ringed with ordeals that refers to all the turbulations all the struggles that 
Aunt Jennifer had to face. And it represents injustice, oppression that she never ever voiced against. So these are the few symbols and images that have been used. And when we talk about the rhyming scheme, let's go over here. Green, green, tree, certain tea. So A, A, B, B. Wool, pull, band, hand. A, A, B, B. Lie, buy, made, unafraid. So A, A, B, B. So this is the rhyming scheme. I hope you've uh, benefited from this video and do visit the channel again. We'll be uploading more videos pretty soon. Thank you and God bless you always.